All right, this is my four-wheeler, 2010 Polaris Sportsman 850. Figured I would just show it with you, with you guys, quick. A little sunny out today, so I don't know. So it'll turn out all that good, but it might. Uh, it's got electric power steering. I'll just see there. A little dirty. It's got about 70 horsepower. Four wheel drive. might be two parts to this video because apparently they can only be 15 minutes long but I don't believe that so we'll see how it turns out uh, gas cap it's regular unleaded Bad boy back on there. There we go. Front brakes. It's for your front tires. And then you got one for the back tires. This happens to be a little your back tires only. Uh, four wheel drive. On demand. It will not turn on unless the back wheels are slipping. And of course then it kicks on the front once the back slip. I might have to do this one over again, I don't know. Let's see how this Like I said, this is just a test video. I'm doing it with my cell phones. I don't know how to do this yet, but I'm you can only test it out, so I got a front winch. It's broken right now, but I fixed it with this doohickey. I got a front snow plow. Uh, one here. And then I got the hookups. Quick attach. It's only it's like a three-point hitch. Um, it's a 60-inch. I think it's a glacier plow or something, something like that. Seems like a pretty good four-wheeler. Little glove box. We got a few things in there. Some straps and a rag to clean the, the gauges. The tail lights light up. Uh, they turn on, you know, when you start the machine. But they also they light up even more when you put the brakes on. So it's like a brake light. Kinda. I'll show you the gauges. I'll show you how all this. You got your front lights, your low, high. You got a little blue thing there. They get some on here too. I'll show you those. The lows, the low lights are only for the the two down on the front. And then the high is the light that's hooked into this. And you got a power outlet for your cell phones and stuff like that. Key. Four wheel drive. It's in two wheel drive right now. Whoops. And then four wheel drive. And then you got the downhill braking system. It's like a Jake brake on a semi truck. Damn bugs. We'll lay up the gauges. Okay. Miles per hour. Hit this button. Goes to RPMs, which is zero right now. And then back to miles per hours. This guy switches from your hours to your service to your ODO, whatever that is. Your miles. Second miles. Back to your hours. Ouch. Clock. So you know what time it is, your gas gauge, and your gear lever. Right now it's sitting in park. So 
I'm sitting on some kind of hilly land, so this is your gears, your gear switcher, switch, or your lever, I should say. It went into reverse. I'll show you those lights. I don't know if you can see them. Right now it's on low. I know you won't be able to see them. Well, maybe you can. The third one's off. But then you flip it up. And then you got your high. Works good when you got the snow plow on because these then these front lights are lights are buried from the snow plow and then the, and the snow. So like I said here you can see the high. And then you can see the high here. Right here. And then you can see it again here. So you got three. Which is surprisingly good. Even though I don't need it, but I just need one. Oh yeah, and then this my winch in out. Out would be you know to drop the plow and then in to pick it up. And I just got standard rims or fancy rims or whatever you want to call them. Um, they were they were on the machine when I got them. There's like three different sets. There's two sets that I like, and then the third set I don't typically care for because uh, they're just like standard black like this. So what the hell you know and you pull this lever this lever I'll do this one it's quick it's closer ouch and you do that and you do the other one you can take it off check your levels and stuff and let's see here that little green guy is where your antifreeze goes you still that little red cap so you pour it in my drive shaft down there. I got another drive shaft over here. That's under that exhaust pipe. Uh, this comes off too. I'm not sure how. I guess with these screws. There's one here and there's another one over there, I guess. Never taking it off. There's no point to. Uh, you can trick your oil level with this. I'll take it out quick so you can get an idea what it looks like. You can drain the oil from the bottom. Can't show you that right now. Let's see, oops. Right there where those X's are, right there, is where you want it to be. Because the whole thing's dirty, but that's because I had it running. I come up to my lovely spot to, to make this video. It's better than my garage, I can't see nothing. I got lights, but I only got two of them. So that's no good. Um, get your warning labels. You got one here, 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 and here, and here. And there's another one over there. And there's one right here. That, it just tells you not to tow from there, not to, not to overload it. This is that other one I showed you. And there's one back here. There it is. You won't be able to read. I don't know if you think you can read that or not. But you just, you don't have to get, when you get your own four-wheeler or something, you can read it. <clears throat> yeah, I might do a test drive of this in, my, in part two of my video. Like I said, they can only be 15 minutes long. I don't know if I just way them turn out. There's supposed to be something else that, was, that you're supposed to have, and I don't know what the hell that is. So. Handy dandy windshield, a little damaged. Uh, that's it's all damaged. Pissed me off. I might get this replaced. I might get it repainted too. I don't know when. Obviously, made in America. So nothing wrong with, with the China stuff, but you know everything we own has been made from China. I think even this cell phone's from China, so. And I don't really know if it's from China, but I don't really want to know right now. I, I don't, typically don't care right now. I don't know how which way I'm supposed to hold the cell phone, so like I said, this is just a test. But, damn, bugging my phone. But you know, I'll get the hang of it. I'm saving up for a camera. 
I might run out of 10 minutes now, so I'll go for another couple of minutes. Yeah, this this light works good. Like I said, when you got the plow up, then these lights are buried. You can't see nothing. You can adjust it up and down with the screws. Then you you can set it to how you like it, and you're good to go. Right now, I think it's set all the way down. I think that yeah, must be because it only makes it only lights up a little spot. But. <clears throat> Like I said, the taillights light up. I'm gonna turn it down. Like I said, you won't probably won't be able to see it because the damn sun's in the way. Um, oh yeah, you can see it a little bit there. Lights up. Lights up. I don't know if I got that very good. There, lights up. You know. Ah, uh, this isn't bad. This lights up red too. Besides all the button or all the numbers and stuff, it stays black, but the outer side there, the back end there, it says it equals red, just like the color of this machine, which is cool, really cool at night. Um, I hope this turns out, I hope I can use this video, I don't know. I made one before, but it was too long, so I couldn't download that son of a bitch on there. So, six o'clock. That pisses me off too. I'm tired of listening to that siren. I've been listening to it for 19 years and I'm just tired of it. They said they were going to make it quieter, but they haven't done that yet, so. God, that siren's pissing me off. But that thing's been running for years, that old siren. not a half bad looking machine though I tell you this 2010 model bought brand new zero miles zero hours I think it's the only second time I've changed the oil now I might do a video of my lawn tractor but that may not happen this year because the grass isn't growing anymore so that might be coming up next year but for right now I'm gonna do the four-wheeler I believe it's for the gas can or the gas tank. It's four and a half, I believe, four and a half gallons, which will burn like hell if you pull a what is it, eight and a half foot cultivator. On the cultivator, I pull is real heavy, so I know it, it sucks. It sucks the gas down. I had a full tank starting to cultivate. The time I got done, I was damn near empty. So if you're going to do any garden work, I recommend a tractor or a garden tractor of some kind. Like the lawnmower I have, that it's set up to have a tiller, but I, I just don't have one right now. But that video might happen next year, so. Uh, I, I use this to unclog my cultivator. That's just a tire iron. You can put the bolt in there and loosen it. And if you want, you can stab somebody with this if you have to. I don't recommend it, but I'm gonna drop it anyhow. Found this baby in the back of our old car that we had. Uh, it does not run, so I need a new motor for it. Ah, uh, but this is part one. Maybe if it, this video turns out all right, if I can get part two to work. That'll probably just me talking more about it and to taking it for a test drive. But I, I just hope these videos work. You know, I'm doing it with my cell phone, so it might be the picture might actually be crooked, but I want, it's just a test video, so. Thanks for watching guys. I'll be back shortly.